Hey guys, King Gaff here, and today I am launching what I'm hoping is going to be an ongoing, in-depth series that will teach anyone who wants to learn how to mod Fallout 4. So welcome to Bethesda Mod School. Now I'm calling it that because there was a group of us who were working on such a thing. The goal was to kind of cover every aspect of modding Bethesda games using the creation kit. And I'll probably go beyond that because I think a lot of this stuff will cover other games. So it's not just going to cover Fallout 4. A lot of this will be useful for Skyrim. And some of the skills I will teach you will go beyond even modding these games. So I'm going to show you some little tricks in Photoshop, GIMP. 3D Studio Max, etc. Basically, I'm going to try and dump all of the knowledge in my head uh, into YouTube videos. Now, it's going to take a long, long, long time to get there, especially because I don't have a ton of time to do this, so it's going to be a trickle. I'm going to get you guys videos here and there, but uh, I want to start with this intro video to get your minds prepared. If you're, if you're looking to get into modding, um, I have some things I want to tell you because it requires a certain mindset and I don't want to set up false expectations. I want to make sure you know what you're getting into. So first up, I will say you don't even have to have any particular skills. All of my guides will assume nothing about what you know. You might find yourself surprised at what skills and hobbies you already have that will end up being valuable to modding. From like math and spreadsheets, you can probably come into one hell of a rebalance mod. If you like creative writing, well, everybody loves a good quest mod. You can do a ton even without voices. You like to build models or play with Legos? Well, you can easily design new workshop items. So it's not just coders and artists who can create cool mods. Now, my hope is that this series will give you a gateway to get into modding. I've been modding since I was a teenager, and back when I first started, the barrier to entry was really high. Most of the software provided by developers was only lightly documented, if at all, and it relied heavily on using community hacks and tools to actually pull off most ideas. What I found today, editing Fallout 4, is that to a new person, nothing's really changed. We have all these amazing outlets to get information to folks, but a comprehensive path of going from knowing nothing to creating something meaningful is incredibly difficult. There also isn't really a great organized collection of methods and tricks the community has learned. Instead, they're just snippets spread out across forums, videos, and reverse engineered from existing mods, and I want to change all that. So now don't get me wrong, modding is still difficult and it's still going to be difficult after watching these tutorials and it requires a certain temperament. You have to be willing to try things, to experiment, even fail. It's all part of the journey. You've heard stuff like this before and I'm going to reiterate because it's all true. So you, you have to be willing to accept that you won't ever know everything and that's okay. I run into tons of things I don't know how to do all the time and there are inevitably things I will teach you in this series that are a dumb way of doing things. Maybe I've done them some way that's stupid and somebody can call me out and hopefully show me a better way, at which point I'll share that new way with all of you. It's, it's a constant process of learning, experimenting, failing, and then eventually triumphing by just kind of throwing spaghetti at the wall till you get there. The point is, is you're not alone when you mod. Everyone goes through these same struggles and most people are actually willing to help you with them. So let's start by setting expectations. So as, as I said before, modding is hard. In fact, creating anything you can be proud of is hard. But when I say hard, I don't mean it's some impossible mountain. I just mean you have to be the type of person that likes to create things and is okay with it taking a while to reach your goals. If you are here hoping you can build the mod of your dreams over the weekend, you're going to be disappointed. What I want to do in this series is provide a roadmap for getting started and then building on the knowledge in chunks. I'm going to teach you all of the different parts of how Fallout work and many of the different workarounds and patterns I've learned so that when you start creating things, you'll have a huge bag of tricks to pull from. So rather than teaching you exact mods to create, I'm going to try and teach you the concepts and the actual little building blocks of them so that you can build and pull from those to build the mod that you have in your head. I'm going to cover a wide range of topics from how to use the creation kit, other modding tools like NIFScope. I'm going to try and teach you some scripting, probably some basics in various art software like Photoshop, 3D Studio Max, etc. The series will also provide a video version of all of the Builders Toolkit, City Planners Toolkit, and Faction Leaders Toolkits, and any other toolkits that I do for some settlements. In fact, those are going to be what I'm going to start with because they're already a great building block for teaching new modders. If you ask anybody who's released something for some settlements, Almost none of them had ever done any modding prior, so I know that these kits work, so I can use those as a baseline to start from. What I'll do is probably break them apart into smaller chunks and then release those out in video format so that you guys who maybe want to go ahead and get ahead of the videos have those toolkits to fall on if you're tired of waiting for me because, like I said, I'm only going to be releasing these videos probably on a weekly basis, so it'll take a while to get to a point where I cover the full thing. And this way, you'll have other resources to go to so you don't have to just wait for me and pause your creations.
So my goal, like I said, there's gonna be a video each week and I'll start with some basics, then I'll move into the Sim Settlements toolkits, and finally, we'll start covering general modding. General modding. Now, there will be a lot of overlap, so even if you're only interested in modding in general, and you have no interest in creating Sim Settlement content, I would still highly recommend you go through the Sim Settlements tutorials and the things that I'm going to be covering in those because it will teach you a lot of the building blocks you need to mod in general. So a lot of there's a lot of overlap. It's not all specific to Sim Settlements. There are some pieces such as filling out the scripts that are related to Sim Settlements that are very unique to that. But in general, all the steps you'll be taking will be useful outside of creating content for Sim Settlements. Now, the big advantage to doing this and developing things for Sim Settlements on its framework is that you can very quickly get something complex up and running. And those little tiny victories, that pride you'll feel when you see something you created come to life in the game, that's the fuel that's going to keep you going. You always want to be working towards making something functional. You can polish it up before release, but the person, person you need to aim to impress right now is yourself. So my goal with each tutorial is to teach you some of the fundamentals and leave you with a useful new trick that you can use and experiment on while you wait with the next one. Because this is gonna be weekly, I wanna make sure that you can actually make use of whatever it is I teach you and start building upon that. So like I said, I'm gonna try and compartmentalize them as much as possible so that you can kind of skip around between videos, especially later on in the life of the series when there's a lot to choose from. But certain tutorials are probably gonna be flagged as prerequisites so that I don't have to fully re-explain a complex part over and over again. For example, I'm going to recommend that everybody watch the Creation Kit 101 video so I don't have to constantly explain how to move the camera around when you're working in 3D space. All right, let's recap some important things from this intro real quick. One, modding is hard, but only in that you have to be willing to try and fail at things. And also B, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Rome wasn't built in a day. All those cliches apply here in spades. So number two, build to impress yourself. Make some small things, get them in the game. This is your fuel. Getting something in the game should be your first goal while you're learning. After a few rounds of small progress and knowing you can get some things working, you'll be more confident in planning more complex projects later. Number three, you are not alone. Not only am I gonna teach you as much as I can, but we've got in a group of like-minded individuals in the Fallout 4 mounting community who are excited to share what they've learned and will be happy to help you along the way. And if you're interested in joining this community, head to the simsettlements.com forums and request an invite to the Builders Toolkit Discord server. We love bringing on new, new creators, even if you aren't developing for some settlements directly, as long as you're bringing some passion to creating things and you are especially interested in Fallout 4 creation, we've got a home for you. Now, I'm open to suggestions on the direction to take this series as, as it unfolds. So if there's particular things you'd like to see me cover, definitely comment on them below and I'll try and add them to the list of plans for the series in the future. But uh, I just want to say thank you everybody for watching this intro video. I'm very excited to see what comes of this and I hope I've inspired some of you to pursue modding for the first time. So check below in the description as I've uh, linked a playlist to some of my favorite tutorials by other creators, such as the Rizzler and 74494, so that you guys can start to dive in and learn without waiting for me to trickle these tutorials out. Because like I said, it's gonna be a slow process and some of you are gonna be way hungrier than I can fulfill the need of uh, your tutorial wants. So check out the, that list. There's tons of stuff already available on YouTube. My goal overall with this is going to be to try and create an entire from zero to end game of how you could create something knowing nothing all the way to creating something as advanced as some settlements. So I wanna get there eventually, but it's just gonna be a slow process. So along with this intro video, I've also released the Creation Kit 101 video, which will introduce you to working with uh, Bethesda's public modding tool for Fallout 4. And we'll just kind of teach you how to move around in it, give you some of the basics, how you load it up. And so you could start experimenting with just real rudimentary mods. So check it out and stay tuned for regular new videos.